blessed afternoon in New York City, in the final dog days of summer, something remarkable happened. One neighborhood stopped. Mesmerized, watching two musicians in front of a red pickup truck perform an ode to a city that's been through a lot this year. The pandemic that killed more than 23,000 here. Months of unrest and calls for justice. It was opera singer Anthony Roth Costanza who thought music could be a part of the city's comeback. I have a crazy idea, and it may be a bad idea, it but... It involves a pickup truck. It involves a pickup truck. <laughs> this is just one pit stop for the New York Philharmonic Bandwagon, a traveling mini orchestra making surprise stops. In classical music, there's this perception of elitism. And in fact, what it is, is the expression of human emotion and the way in which we can communicate with each other. Violinist Yulia Ziskel jumped at the chance to make live music again. You normally perform here in Lincoln Center. Now you're out taking it to the streets. Does it feel different? It felt so special. And you could tell people miss live entertainment right now. They miss live performances. Music is healing. We need to perform live. The music helping mend hearts across the city. It made me just <laughs> so happy to live here. Yeah, I mean, you really can get lost in the music. I think that's the power of what today was. This man stood up and he walked to the center of our little gathering. And as I sang and as we played together, he closed his eyes, and I saw him for the whole aria standing in the middle of the street with his eyes closed in the middle of a busy New York street. And it was so moving to know that we were able to have that kind of connection. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.